Hi, I'm Melissa and this is Olivia. Hi. And we got up at the crack of dawn this morning because I wanted to bring Olivia down here to Temecula, to the Temecula Valley Strawberry Farms, so that she could check out the beautiful Vertigrow system behind us. It's a hydroponic vertical, vertical growing system that this farmer is using to grow strawberries on this small four acre farm. This farm was originally intended to be a horizontal uh, growing farm, but they soon found out after checking their wells that they didn't have quite enough water to, to handle the capacity that they needed for the strawberries. So Vertigro stepped in and showed them how they could use 80% less water, isn't that cool? Yeah. And get the same amount of production, actually probably a lot more, well, much more production out of their strawberries because they're growing vertically, as you can see behind us, instead of horizontally. The other thing that's really cool is that they don't have to use nearly the pesticides that they would normally have to use if they were growing on the ground. Kids can come out here and pick their own strawberries, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us, tell us how that works. You really just come here, they hand you a bucket and some scissors, and you go out here and you pick your own strawberries. It's amazing. Those are beautiful. They're so bright and red. They taste so good. Another advantage of picking the strawberries yourself is that it's more fresh, and that means it's really healthy for you. It's so fun. You just get your scissors and you cut. I, I already filled all this basket, and my mom said slow down because she wants to pick some too. It was so fun. So they give you this basket and a pair mm -hmm. of scissors and you just have at it, right? You get to yeah. walk wherever you want through here and pick the exact strawberries that you want. Yeah. It's no totally more yellow cool. ones at the bottom of the basket at the, at the market, right? Mm -hmm. And they taste so good. Mm -hmm. You can even eat that without washing it because the rain has done the job for us and there's no pesticides on this right. st these strawberries mm -hmm. anyways, right? Mm -hmm. And no so dirt because they're not on the ground. Another advantage of growing up instead of out is that when the farmers pick the strawberries, they don't have to hurt their back. So it's really cool. Yeah. Wow, Livy, the rain is really starting to come down now. Check this out. This is a perfect day to be out farming and messing around outside, isn't it? Yeah. So <laughs> much fun. Did you know that these plants are actually hydroponic, which means that they are not grown with any kind of dirt or soil? No, that's cool. That's probably why they're so perfect and clean. That's exactly right. Because hydroponics is a healthy system of growing because it doesn't have any of the soil-borne diseases that can show up in traditional farming. So it makes it a lot more healthier? It does. Makes it healthier. And it produces natural and clean fruit that you can eat right off the, off the bins. Which is perfect for your body. Not only did I get you up at the crack of dawn to come down here and check out this system that I thought was so cool, I actually asked the owner of Vertigro to come join us too so that you could interview him. How cool is that? That is so cool. Mike, why don't you come join us? All right. Woohoo! You guys got some good stuff there. Yeah, here, yeah. I'll hold the boss basket and you can ask Mike any question you want about what you got, Vertigro. Lily? Well, so where did this idea come from? Well, my father-in-law, Tim Carpenter, created this idea and, and brought it to America. And, and what we've done is we, re, we refined this product over the years and, and have a fantastic vertical way to do gardening. What do you think? That is amazing. I can't believe you thought of that. It's just so cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat for my kids and, and people like you. We can go out and just pick our strawberries when we walk right through the, they, they call them strawberry towers or strawberry trees. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I have one more surprise for you, Libby, that I haven't shared with you yet. And that is, is that we are going to be hooking up with Mike and we're going to get our own hydroponic vertical system at home. That is so cool. It's going to go on our deck and you're going to have the ability to grow all kinds of food, not just strawberry, but we're going to grow leafy lettuces and we're going to be growing spices, herbs, all That's kinds neat. of wonderful when things. Mom tells you to go out and pick the garden. You're going to go out and pick the garden. You're going to eat it like five minutes later. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. When we do our cooking show, you'll just cut and trim and pull it right into the kitchen and we'll be cooking away. Oh Thanks yeah. That. that is so cool. I mean, I love eating healthy and it's just a perfect way to live. Yeah. <laughs> this rain is packed out here but we're having such a fun time so what can you grow in a vertical garden well you guys have had a lot of fun out here with strawberries but that's not the only thing it, you can do tomatoes cucumbers uh, any kind of herb that you want to do so you can actually have your mom go out there and pick some basil or some oregano and spice up your spaghetti you know you it really is just whatever your imagination can can come up with and we in this system you're not going to grow things like corn out of it but you can even do sweet potatoes and potatoes in the bottom pots and, and all kinds of fun stuff on top we've even done flowers so there's a lot of edible flowers that you can do from the standpoint of, of health and, and making sure that you, you're eating the right stuff. I mean, there's no better way to do this.
Wow, that seems so amazing for your body. They must just like love it. I think you're going to have a lot of your friends doing some vertical gardening with you. Yes, I've told my friends and they're all so excited. So, just getting the world out a word out there. Awesome. I think you're going to be a you're going to be a fantastic farmer yourself. Although Thank you won't you. have to have like acres. You can do it in your, just your backyard in a small footprint. <laughs> Yep, we, we have a little small deck and we're going to do it right on our deck, right? Yep. You could even do this system on top of a building if you wanted to, right? If you yeah. don't have a deck, go to your roof. Yeah. What we're going to do next, we're going to get the farmers out here and we're going to talk to them about their strawberries. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. It's been my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop it. Okay. All right, Livia, I got another surprise for you. Yay! Okay. We are here with Ken and Kenny, a father-son duo that owns this beautiful farm here, the Temecula Valley Strawberry Farms. So Ken and Kenny, come on over here and say hello to us. Hello. Here they are. Hi. Hi. So Livia's got some questions for you. She's really excited about this system and she wants to know how it got started, what was the brainchild and how long did it has been going and all kinds of questions. That mm -hmm. far away, Liv. All right, so what, how did you come up with the idea of having a hydroponic strawberry farm? Well, basically, my dad had been in the strawberry business for as long as I can remember. And I was up at school studying agriculture. And, um, and I called him one day and I said, you know what, Dad? I think I've got a better way of growing these crazy things. And... Um, and so I took a little bit of convincing, but finally we started out with a very small little experimental section and we were super happy with it. And now we're, we're now growing 45,000 plants and it's all in the vertical hydroponic system. And, um, and we no longer, we don't think of things in terms of square footage, but now it's, it's all cubic footage because you can go vertical. So you can stack your food, which means you can pack in a lot more plants in such a small amount of space. That is so cool. Now, I've heard about a hydroponic, but I don't fully understand it. Will you, will you teach me about it? Absolutely. Well, basically, um, the word hydroponic, all it means is that you're not growing something in the soil. So we're completely soilless. So I've been told that hydroponic makes plants happy. It absolutely does. Just the way that when you eat a good nutritious meal, it keeps you healthy and happy, it's exactly the same for the plants. Mm -hmm. So we only feed them exactly what they need to keep just the right amount of balance of sweetness and health and overall just good sustainable plants. So how often do you feed these plants? Well, we feed them three times a day at four minutes of feeding. <laughs> Sounds like a baby, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And I know that you were farming here for many years before your son came and started making all these changes. How do you feel about that? Well, we were growing in the ground. I've been doing that for an awful long time. And when Ken came back from ag school and said, we got a better way to do this, that is vertical now, going up in the air. We get three times the amount of plants per acre, and we use a fraction of the water that we used to. It was really very interesting. So. Started off, kept waiting for uh, to see if this was going to work, and every year it's gotten better and better. And one of the biggest improvements has been the use of water. Where in California we don't have a lot of water, and this uses just a fraction of what we do in the ground. So it's been a huge savings of water and also labor. It's so easy to pick; you just stand up and you could turn the pots. And we um, uh, use very very little um, sprays on our crop. That's fantastic. So that college degree degree ended up being a good deal for you, right? It certainly did. Absolutely. <laughs> that is so good. And growing up instead of out. <laughs> growing up instead of out. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, this has been so much fun. Do you have any other questions? Or you can you think of anything else that we need to know before we go out there and start picking? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. Well, well, tell me a little bit about your interest in our oh, farm. We're turning the tables. We're turning the tables. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, our whole deal is that Olivia and I want to encourage families to spend more time together. And we also want to encourage them to teach their kids healthy habits. So I have a friend in Laguna named Eric Cutter. And he introduced us to this whole idea of vertical farming. And we got very excited about it because Olivia and I have been working on a healthy kids cooking show that we're trying to put together. Ah. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of cooking. And we thought it would be so cool if we could just go to our balcony, do a little trimming, and then throw that right into our recipes and so that you guys were growing this and having this grand opening today. So we had to come down and see it. Well, I love it. And we've always thought that one of the things that I, I, I was so impressed with this system 
is that it is the future of farming, and in, in, in our opinion. It's wholesome, it's family oriented, it's an opportunity for families to come in and pick their own fruit and their own vegetables, and it's just good for families. And I love the idea that we're kind of teaching young people like my son and Olivia the future of farming, and we're, we, we just love this. And you know what I loved, Olivia, is that even though this has been a rainy, wet, cold day with wind and everything there's been all these families out here with their baskets and their umbrellas and and they're not letting them stop that yeah. stop them that's so cool mm -hmm. so this type of farming olivia that ken and kenny are bringing to us and showing us all about is a great source of natural clean food and that's what they're bringing to us well, let's get out there on the farm and start cutting away okay you <laughs> let's do it <laughs>